Just when you thought all of the internet drama was beginning to die down a bit, we have a new wild and wacky development here, but this time on YouTube, and involving cheating. But not like the anal bead chest cheating. This cheating doesn't involve butt plugs or anal beads at all. This one involves a man who was unfaithful to his wife. I'm talking about the Try Guys, Ned Fulmer. The Try Guys are a massive channel, have been for a long time, and yesterday they posted this message letting people know that Ned Fulmer would no longer be working with the Try Guys. After this was posted, all of the information began to surface as to why. There's a video picture evidence that confirms that Ned Fulmer cheated on his wife with a, a workplace associate for quite some time, I believe. And it was a, a big mess, a, a big, stinky, filthy mess. Uh, I went over the situation on stream and I'll show you the clips from that, but I think it's very important to highlight that Ned Fulmer's entire identity revolved around how much he loved his wife. Like, I swear to God, it was like he took a goddamn love potion from Harry Potter because half the shit he would talk about in the videos was how much he loved his wife. And then it turns out he was cheating on her. So yeah, just a giant scumbag shit stain and the entire community was really caught off guard by this, obviously. Super shocked to learn that Ned Fulmer was a cheater. That would be like if you guys learned I secretly enjoyed Burger King. I am publicly insulting them all the time saying how bad they are, comparing their food to nuclear sludge. But imagine all of that's just a lie and it turns out that I actually love Burger King and I'm boofing Whoppers in my bathtub every night. You would be shocked and feel betrayed just even learning that about me. So I think the audience definitely felt that because they were all under the impression that Ned Fulmer was a very family first kind of guy. He has kids as well. So no one really thought Ned Fulmer would be a piece of shit like this. So a very sad situation overall. Uh, I'll go ahead and play the stream moments that really showcase the whole situation a bit more, but I wanted to give you the general overview here of what's going on. So I think most people are familiar with the Try Guys, I would imagine. Try Guys are a huge channel and have been for a very long time. And one of the members has recently been accused of being unfaithful to his wife. A wife whom he would constantly brag about and mention how much he loves his wife and respects his wife. In fact, he even posted a whole compilation of it. This is Ned and the love he feels for his wife. My wife, 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 my wife. Yeah, so it's like straight out of Borat with the whole my wife thing. So he talks about his wife a lot. He mentions his wife a ton. Always positively too. You know, everyone was shocked when they heard it was Ned who cheated on his wife. Because this man, with everything he said, treated her like an angel, viewed her like a goddess, and yet he was tempted by the forbidden fruit. He allegedly, well, not even allegedly, he fucking confirmed it. Here's his post. He, he, he had an affair, a consensual workplace relationship. The, the employee that he had, or I believe it was an employee, or maybe just like a work associate, uh, the person that people are thinking it is, was a woman who was also engaged and her fiance found out and removed every picture of her from his Instagram. And, you know, you can start connecting the dots here. You don't have to be, you know, the, the smartest guy in the world to, to follow the trail of breadcrumbs. So, Ned fucked a, fucked a woman that wasn't his wife and also fucked another dude's wife. He respects his wife so much he had to cheat on her because he's unworthy of her love. <laughs> yeah, maybe that's it. Uh, there's also some really beautifully aged clips here. Ned is cheating. I'm calling it. Ned is cheating. Ned is cheating. How right you were. I'm calling it. Ned is cheating. Ned is cheating. The intuition truly was right on the money. Sometimes you just gotta go with the gut feeling. And now Ned has been removed from the Try Guys. Which is big. I mean, that's big. Losing that job is... That's not an easy pill to swallow. 
He has two kids, right? He has some kids. I don't know how many. I will be fully open. I am not overly familiar with Ned or the Try Guys. I, of course, have watched their content from time to time, but I wouldn't consider myself like a connoisseur. Yeah, I don't know their, their ins and outs. I didn't even know Ned was married. I, I thought the whole wa my wife thing was like a running gag or something. So he tried an affair. He did. I don't think he liked the results very much so far, but the jury's still out. Why fire him, though? Because it's a bad image. He's, he's now a flight risk. That happens with everything. It's not just like YouTube or anything. Literally, that happens everywhere. 15k quote tweets. I know, this, this man, this man caught a storm. Yep. So did the company fire him, or did he leave? Bro, you think Ned Fulmer left? No, man, he got fired. And obviously, their entire brand is based on their personalities and people liking them and enjoying them. No one likes a cheater. So that immediately is a big problem for the brand. Thus, they got rid of him for it. And his whole brand was how much he loved his wife. True. The love and respect he had for his wife was one of, like, his crucial tenets. Like a Ten Commandment he'd follow. Does the president get to appoint a new try guy? Oh, yeah, that's interesting. I wonder how they'll get the new try guy. Surely they have a council to elect the newest member to replace him, like Hydra. Maybe they'll get two more members. Cheated because he lost focus. Yeah, it's a really weird statement. I just wasn't paying attention and my dick fell into my employee. Fuck. Now everyone's mad at me.